Good morning, St. Lucia. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Chela Mendez, your host. You're watching This Morning, and guess what? We are outdoors, so it's going to be an amazing day. And we are at Ted Paul. Yes, we finally made it to Ted Paul. Mm -hmm. Maureen extended the invitation. We're here now. So, Maureen, thank you so much again for having us. Thank and, you for coming. And you know what? It was so much fun. It's the end of our tour. We had an amazing day here. The tour guides are amazing. The staff is amazing. It's a family here. And Maureen, you know, we finally made it. So what do you yes, have to tell St. Lucia now? Okay, St. Lucia, the, all I have to say to you, the experience is a great experience. All you have to do again is come and find out for yourself. It makes no sense me telling you anymore. You just come and enjoy. Great. Now with that said too, we're going to get to meet the team and know the family here because you definitely get this home feel when you come over to Ted Paul. As soon as we walked in, it was warm, welcoming. My son was running all over the place, you know, but they just pulled him in. So you swear they knew him. For, so this is the kind of feel you want when you go on this sort of experience. And to be St. Lucian and be able to still feel that sort of feel, you know. Some people might say it's only when tourists come you get it. But no, I can testify. We felt right at home here. So we're going to meet the team. So we're going to go down the line. Okay, welcome. I'm Denver and I work here as a tour guide. Well, my manager don't have me as a tour guide. She has me like, I would say, all around her. Okay, <laughs> so I'm involved in most of the stuff that's been done at Ted Paul. And I love what I do and it's like a passion for me. And I'll be doing the best that I can to make Ted Paul go a bit further in what we do here. So I'm Denver. All right. All right, so remember that. Now, the lovely Lisa, she was our tour guide, and she was amazing, all right? So, Lisa, just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the tour. Okay, um, my name is Lisa Esnard Edward. I'm a tour guide at the Ted Paul Nature Trail. The Ted Paul Nature Trail tour is very easy to moderate. It's roughly 30 to 45 minutes round trip. This is the only place on the island where you can get a 360 panoramic view where you get to see approximately a quarter of the island. Only the only place on the island where you can stand in between both pitons and see them at the closest. Okay? Thank you so much. And she is not lying. You, you'll see that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're still going down the line. Okay, I'm Sharon Theodale. I'm the supervisor of the Ted Paul Nature Trail and I also manage Alma's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. This is one of the places that you can get one um, the best, delicious local cuisine the real on the stuff. island. Yes, so come everybody, come and have a, come and enjoy yourself on the trail and plus you can have lunch here. <laughs> Hi, St. Lucia. I'm Jamal, groundsman, and I keep the place clean so you guys will have a nice time. Great. Yeah. And he does a good job at that too. <laughs> They're still going. There. Jamal is not only the groundsman, he plays a big role in the kitchen also. Okay? <laughs> She's the back backup chef, I would say he is to come. <laughs> good stuff. All right, still going down the line. We have some people shying away, but. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jomel Kazabo and I'm a cook at Alma's Kitchen. Alright, you see, making the good stuff for us. Okay, hi, my name is Fabius and I'm a senior guide at Ted Paul. And uh, the best thing I love about Ted Paul is like an alternative view for the groupie tour. Very easy tour. You can do it without a drop of sweat. And uh, it's phenomenal. Ted Paul, phenomenal. Now, of course, we know Maureen, so we're going to skip right over. And last but not least, hello, St. Lucia. My name is Kiziana, but the staff here call me Kizi. And I work here for um, at Ted Paul. I enjoy my job. And I think that everyone in St. Lucia should come up to Ted Paul to enjoy the beautiful view there is to be seen. Thank you. Now, one of my highlights besides the breathtaking views was also the antique house. And I know there's special ties with the antique house and Maureen. So she's going to give us a story. I don't, the antique house actually um, was my parents' marital home. It was a three-bedroom house which has now been condensed to a one-bedroom. And, you know, everything in there were things that they used to use during their, their marital years. Two of my eldest sisters were born there. So they were married in 1956 and they had their two children until they went to, to London. So, you know, there's a, there's a great history at St. Paul. And also there's Alma's Kitchen as well, you know, it's in my sister's honor. And this is where you get all the good food, local drinks, foods. Um, what else do we have? We have so many things, guys, help. Everything, we have everything. 
Yes, we also have the best of cocoa tea, fish cakes, everything local. So there's also the cassava house. It is a working cassava house. And, you know, there's a lot of demonstration on how to, from the beginning to the end of cassava. So come and enjoy Ted Paul. Come to Ted Paul! <laughs> Wake up, St. Lucia. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're feeling re-energized because you know what? Whenever we're outdoors, mm. and I tell people that all the time, it's just a whole new life, all right? And today we're here with our homeboy. We're with Ko. Welcome to this morning. You're part of the family. Thank you, Thank you for having me once again. It's nice that we're out here. You yeah, know, it's man. a beautiful the day. Breeze, the sunshine. Yeah, man. Blue skies. We have it really good down yes, here. Yes, yes. <laughs> St. Lucia. Now, you know what, as I'm saying that, you've mm. been in Canada for a bit, you're back yes. home right now. Yeah. How does it feel to be back home? There's no place like home. And, and plus that I got to skip the winter. That was, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is key. You uh, flew south. <laughs> yeah, man, I flew south for the winter and I'm, I'm glad I did it. Uh, this is the longest that I've been in St. Lucia for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So I know it's gonna be tougher to leave this time because I had so much time to get attached, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, man, so there's no place like home and, and, and the vibe here is is second to none. Great. Now I know there's a lot of big things happening, new things coming on. You have a video release that we are gonna be following soon to come on the 29th. So tell us yes. about that. It's called So Cold, right? Yes, uh, the next single that we're gonna be putting out, the official single is called So Cold. Uh, this is actually a song that I've had in my hands for a very long time. Uh, it's very dear to me, so I'm glad that we're finally able to roll it out. Uh, we shot the video uh, about a month ago with Nexus, Sean Field and them, Nexus Networks. Nexus. You know, shout out Nexus. And um, I'm, I'm really excited about it. We premiered the video at the final Solstice event that we had over the weekend. Uh, it was very well received. In my opinion, I think it's one of our, our best pieces of work to date. Uh, we, we hope to roll it out on the t around the 29th of April, so just you know, stay tuned for that. Good, and we're gonna be following it. We're gonna be premiering it, so you guys have to make sure you wake up and tune in on the 29th. All right. Now, Ko, again, you've been home. You've been in Canada. What is the music scene like in Canada? Uh, it's actually very similar to St. Lucia in terms of the, the community that that exists. Uh, everyone is sort of they work together in a way. Um, the difference is sort of the infrastructure that's in place. So uh, there are a lot more grant systems that are in place. Uh, there's a lot more touring opportunities that are in place. And being in Toronto, which is sort of like the mecca of the music, and not only the mecca of the, of the music industry in Canada, mm -hmm. but also because of artists like, you know, Drake, The Weeknd, Justin right. Bieber, Party Next Door, Tory Lanez, uh, all eyes are on us, technically. So <laughs> it's a... It's a good place to be. The energy is, is very vibrant. Uh, the competition is real. Uh, but, you know, I welcome the challenge. Good stuff. Now we're going to get to know another side of you because we know K.O. as the performer, the entertainer, you know, but we're going to get to know him as the entrepreneur because you also have a business venture going on. Yeah, yeah. So let's see Lucia know about that. The clothing line, right? That is correct. Okay, yes. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I work with, I feel like music and fashion uh, have always you know, existed, coexisted. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to be able to take that part of my artistry and translate it through clothing. So I've been working with uh, the Escape Movement, which is what I'm wearing right now. Uh, the Escape Movement is an independent clothing line from North Bay, Ontario. I've also been doing a little bit of work with East Coast Lifestyle, which is a clothing line from the East Coast of Canada where I went to school. So what I'm currently doing is a lot of custom, one-of-a-kind pieces, whether it be bleach dyed, tie dyed, uh, distressed pieces, even hand-painted pieces that we did a lot of collaborations with, uh, with Mind of Xavier. So, I mean, I've, I've just, he's, um, the, the talent in St. Lucia is just, you know, incredible. And a lot of the times we just may not necessarily have the platform to, to export that. Uh, so I just, I believe that, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to be in the position that I'm in. So I want to do whatever it is that I can. Uh, reaching out to people like Mind of Xavier was one of those things. Uh, doing events like Solstice was one of those things. And this clothing line is just another avenue for to, to channel that energy great well you know what i'm loving this so now we're getting to see all the different aspects that just come together and 
create who we see right here before us this is ko so of course for anybody who may just be new don't worry that's why we're checking for you here on this morning let people know how they can follow your music and of course be part of the movement yes uh you could find everything about me on iamko.com that is i am kayo.com through that you'll get access to all my social media outlets all the music and uh you could join the movement right there by subscribing to our mailing list all right, so St. Lucia, make sure you be part of it. You know how we do it here on This Morning. So this is our boy KO. I'm Chayla Mendes, and we'll bring you more. And make sure, April 29th, you tune into This Morning, all right? Video release. You already know. Hey St. Lucia, what's up? How is everybody doing? I'm Chayla Mendes, your host. You're watching This Morning and you know we always have a lot of good vibes going on. That's what it's all about on the show. And today we're still, we're getting behind the scenes of Euphoria because we go, we attend, it's a production, it's an experience. But there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. So we're, we're catching up with, you know, the movers and the pioneers and the pillars really with Team Euphoria and I have Sammy Altius and she, well, we can just call her the creative director. Last year we had the Village of Joy, you know, we're looking at U5 now, but before we jump into that, Sammy, I'd like to welcome you on this morning and just let us know really, you know, how it feels to be part of Team Euphoria, such a solid team really. It is a great feeling. Um, We've, we've been doing this, well, it's five years now, um, so it's a, it's a great team. We started this very small um, and not knowing they would have been this big, I suppose, um, but it's a great feeling being part of this team. It's, 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 a, happy, it's a happy team. Yeah. Great. Now, one thing that people have come to know Euphoria for is it's a production. It's not an average event or just one of the typical fits you come and you really get enveloped in it because it's an experience just from the production to dancers so you being part of the creative geniuses behind that just tell us what goes into really coming up with these out-of-the-box concepts well it starts way beyond way before the actual date of the show um, months before even even the year before like we start our meetings to start our um, thinking about our themes the music um, social media, advertising, and it's just a build up from there up until the big day. So it's a lot. It, every team member has their part that they have to play and for my part it's social media, marketing, advertising the event and getting followers, getting people hyped up about it. So I really enjoy that part of it. So yeah. Now what I love too of course and this must be Maybe it's a challenge, maybe it's not, but you'll tell me. You know, with the productions, it's all about finding everything that's fitting to go with the music. So how easy or not so easy is it just really matching the perfect concepts to help enhance the music and that sort of vibe from the music? Um, well, what it is, we start off with a theme for the year. So last year was the Village of Joy, this year it's love. So everything we do will... will kind of surround that theme what we what we share on social media the music that Edison produces so you see that coming up with the theme it, it, it takes a little thought and we have to come up with it like months before like the previous year even and um, we all kind of vibe on the same wavelength on the same level so we know it's love so we, we, we vibe on that, you know, Tedison does his music to that, I will post stuff on social media to that, the theme is, is, is love, so we're on that same, on that same wavelength. Yeah. Now Euphoria is also well known to have, I'd say a solid family, because you know the fans, like last year, a couple minutes before the show, rain came, came down but people still came out and came out in their all white outfits so you know even for you guys behind the creativity and the productions and come up with these concepts you know how important is it to make sure that you deliver for your fans for that family it is extremely important to us to deliver to the fans the fans are ultimate outside of maybe our sponsors you know um, so we, we have to make sure we keep our fans happy. We try to respond to maybe basically everyone who sends us messages, ask questions, want, to, want more information. Any little 
issue they may have that we, we try to answer or fix it for them. So we, we're very thankful for our fans and we try to keep them happy. Now just especially for our fans, for our family on this morning, any kind of previews or teasers we can get, maybe ideas that might just happen for you five? Um, it's our fifth anniversary, so we want to make it phenomenal. We want to make it memorable. Um, so look out and follow Euphoria Land and you'll find out some more. Yeah. Well, with that said, we're going to leave you hanging because we want to make sure that you at 10, we're going to see you July 6th. It's all about you five and one love. So again, Sammy, thank you so thank much. You Don't you just love her hair and her outfit? Thank and you. you see that already? I need to get hooked up too. We're going to make sure we come out with our one love shirts too. All right. All right thank Take you so much, Han.